welcome back to the Midnight Who Show, and today we are going to be reviewing another DC TV backdoor pilot, this time from the world of Black Lightning, and it is of the character Painkiller. Now, when I first heard about this backdoor pilot being in for the final season of Black Lightning, I was kind of unsure about it. I always thought the character of Painkiller in the show was pretty good, but I didn't know if he could lead his own show, and I found it a very odd choice to spin off Painkiller and not Thunder and Lightning. I thought that would be the more obvious choice. But I can say, after watching this backdoor pilot, I was actually pretty impressed, and actually I could see how this could become a whole series. Uh, the character of Painkiller, to me, is such a fascinating idea, especially now because Khalil has kind of a dual personality now, and it was very interesting to see how this episode portrayed that. Even if I found those scenes between him, you know, Khalil and Painkiller, they did these certain scenes, they're probably my least favorite part of the episode, but I could see how they could be developed a lot more in a show. And I really think it's something we haven't seen very much from the Arrowverse, having this kind of anti-hero dual personality. And I think it could be a great show. Now I can say, the characters that were in, that were introduced, these brand new characters that work alongside Painkiller Khalil, they're pretty good. They're actually, they add a lot to the plot. You know, I especially like their tech guy that Khalil has. Very kind of, very good character, and his, the other one who works, his doctor, is not bad. Um, and I can see in a show they could be a lot more developed, and I'm actually curious to see a lot more about them. Now, they do have some characters from Black Lightning to make the show, you know, also kind of work well with se the final season of Anissa and Grace as they come here on their honeymoon. Now, they were pretty good additions to this. It just made it feel like they were there just to, to make it seem kind of cohesive with you know, Black Lightning season right now. But I can't say the mystery that they get involved in with this Maya character and these brain kind of mind takers. It's a very interesting idea. And I would actually be very curious how this goes on. Very, very curious. And I kind of liked how they kind of kept who was Maya until the very end. And you're like, who is this character? And they never say her last name. And then you're like, oh, Odell. Of course she's Odell's daughter, because of course. Now, one of my biggest complaints with this episode is the CGI, the design of the town. It, you know, felt very kind of CGI. I will say the phone booth was a very creative idea, but everything just felt a little off with it. Now, I do believe that it's just because this was the backdoor pilot, and they didn't really build much sets. Also, probably because there's a pandemic, and they didn't really want to build that many new sets yet or something. But it did did take away a little bit from it, but I do think it could be easily resolved, I think, if the show goes forward. Yeah, I think Painkiller, it does have good ideas in it, and I think it could be a successful series. I think it is something that I think feels different from Black Lightning, which I feel is a good thing. It made this backdoor pilot stand apart from it. It presented a new idea, an anti-hero, new you know, new world to explore. It felt completely different, unlike the last backdoor pilot, you know, Green Arrow and the Canaries, which I still thought could have been good, but it did just feel like, you know, Arrow, the sequel, kind of. This doesn't, and I think that does help this backdoor pilot a lot more. Now, will they pick it up? Who knows? We know how, you know, Green Arrow and the Canaries went, but I could see this working a lot better as a show. And one thing I will end this video with is the fight scenes. They're very well choreographed. But overall, I really like this Khalil painkiller dynamic that they are developing. I think it could be a really good idea to explore in the future. And I'm very, I would be very interested in watching this as a show. Because it is, does feel something completely different. And could be in kind of a different show for the Arrowverse. Which I think could be much needed to continue this world going forward. But tell me your guys' thoughts on the painkiller backdoor pilot from the final season of Black Lightning in the comments below. And would you want to see this as a show? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.